Hi, and welcome to Tech Geek Gamers, episode 36. Um, extra, extra big panel of hosts this week. Chris, Rob, Mark, Rob, and Jason. Uh, this week, we're going to play Battlestar Galactica, the board game. Uh, let's get right to the game. Awesome. Sweet. Let's fucking do this! Okay, so we are playing Battlestar Galactica, the board game. Um, super awesome, intense board game with super lots of extra factors. Super, super. Um, quick rundown. Uh, essentially, all of us will be characters from the hit show. Um, we are going to be dealt a card half at the beginning of the game and halfway through the game to decide whether or not we are a Cylon. Um, so that factor is you start human, could become a Cylon, that's in there, or you could start a Cylon from the whole game. Cylons are trying to stop the humans, humans are trying to get to Earth. You do that by jumping through space. Um, blowing up silent attackers, protecting the civilians. This game has the show. We're about to delve right in and uh, and be like we were part of it. So say we all. So, <laughs> so say we all. So say we all. Okay, so we've all rolled. See who goes first. Chris is going to select his character first. Yes. And, and I Apollo. choose Apollo. Apollo. God, who my gamer takes Apollo. Fair enough. There it is, true, right there. True that. And he's cool. <laughs> Rob? Um, I thought Hilo was a cool character in the show, so I'll be taking him. Okay. Uh, that leaves me with a political, mandatory political personnel. I will... No, you I'll can be... take the chief. Oh yeah, okay. I'll be guys, though. Guys, Baltar. Oh, right on. He's got beautiful hair. <laughs> it's a freak. Long flowing locks. It's appropriate. Frackin' nuts. And I am going to pick Starbuck, because Katie Sackoff is hot. And just to make sure someone can actually fix a viper, <laughs> I'm going to be the chief. Way to take one for the team. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, You're welcome. so You're based totally on silent. those decisions, that makes Rob the admiral. Huh? Oh, all right. Congratulations, and, uh, you're the nukes. You're the highest ranked. Okay. We have no Adamas or ch ties, and, and that makes me the president. Guys, Baltar is the president. Wow, this already sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah. Why? He did so good. <laughs> New Caprica was awesome. I used my little loyalty deck app. To, uh, <laughs> we'll put the link in the show exactly. notes. Yeah. If you need this app, the loyalty deck app is very good. It will also give you the dice rolls necessary to blow things up and the chain of command to figure out who's president and admiral. Okay. Nice. You get one, you get one. You're a freak, you get two, you get one. <laughs> You get one. Now, here's the thing. If it says you are not a Cylon, there's not really anything else you need to read on the card. If it says you are a Cylon, there's something at the bottom that you need to read. That's mm -hmm. what's going to happen when you reveal if you're not in the break. In order so that we don't know who's a Cylon by how long they take to read the card, hmm. what we do is we hold the card up and we hold it in front of us for 10 seconds and then we all put them down at the same time. So how important is it to know what it says on the card? Um... It's nice to know, but if you choose to let it be a mystery, that works for you too. All right. Okay. Okay. Don't forget to everybody scan with your eyes. That's right. <laughs> Look, at the top. Look at the bottom. Rotate your head. On your marks, get set, go. Blow them down. Can we hang on to that? Intense. Yes. Let the accusations begin. That's right. <laughs> Salam. <Silence. laughs> Next is uh, put your guy on the board. Put your guy on the board where he belongs. It says at the bottom uh, you, of your card where your guy goes. I'm in the hangar deck. Gaius is in the research lab. Unsurprisingly, uh, she's in the hangar deck. Shocking. Yeah. Oh, really. I think so where at the, the very hangar. bottom there? It says launch, uh, launch and pilot a viper. So I'm You're in a viper? viper. You're in nice. a viper. Oh, cool. <laughs> so you get to go either here or here, whichever you I'll like. Go here. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> now you can move, and that includes landing your Viper and going somewhere else. Okay. Uh, and then you can take an action. You might want to go over here and defend our civilian ships. Uh, Cylon. So, there's, a, there's, a rule, there's a rule about the direction these guys move, right? Right. These guys, when they're activated, they move towards the closest civilian ship. Hmm. Right? Oh, okay. If the closest civilian ship is directly opposite them, they go clockwise. Oh. Ah. So if these guys get activated, they're going to go here. Oh, okay. Same with the raiders, right? So, and they, so they won't or, move no, towards No, heavy raiders the always move towards the closest uh, launch deck. Oh, ah. okay. They move towards okay. the closest, and they ignore everything else. All right. So you moved one spot? So that's your move. Yeah. So you, you have an action. Moved, like all the way okay. over here if you wanted to. That's, that's a valid move. 
No, in space uh, you can move action. one Only one second. spot. And now okay. an action, so you that's one, one of my cards. You right? can use one of your cards as an action. It's the move and action. Or you the can... Move is the action. Yeah. Um, activate again, which would allow it to move here if you wanted to do that. Sure, why not? Okay. So that's your, your move move. Your move step was to go there. Your action yeah. step was to go there. That's the end of move and action. Now you draw a crisis card. You did shuffle those. Yeah. Okay. Draw a crisis <laughs> just card. just flip it over. Up. Yep. Boom. What's the first crisis? Legendary Discovery. 14. Read it out for us. Okay. So pass. Place this card next to the Cobalt Objective card. It counts as one distance. Sure. This is the yeah. only crisis card in the deck that gives you credit for having jumped. Ooh. No, that's oh, only if you but pass. But only if we pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. a huge pass. And then check. fail is minus one to food and destroy one raptor. And it's 14 point total with purple and red being the, I don't know, I guess you call the them the positive yeah. curves. Yeah. We just say the vernacular <clears throat> is 14 on purple and red. Got it. 14 on purple and red. So what Jason is doing right now is creating the random deck or destiny deck. He's taking two from every color. Okay. He's going to shuffle them all up. Then each time there's a crisis, we're going to take the top two mm. and add them to the pot. I see. Ah. So okay. it could be fate that we pass this thing. <gasps> destiny. Humans want this to happen because that chance does not come along. Mm. You won't even see that every game. And we got to see it in this episode. Yes. <laughs> That's special. Okay, there's the two random cards. <clears throat> now, so who starts? for the crisis, it's the person to the crisis. left of the person oh. who's current player. So you start, so can... and it ends with the current so basically player. basically I add the cards I Any want. Any number of face-down cards. That's right. I'm adding zero, and before you jump on me, I don't have those colors. <laughs> okay. Cylon! Okay, and here we go. Not good. Good. Not good. No obvious Cylon on the first crisis. So and that's definitely not a pass. I don't think we pass. passed. No nowhere or... near. Yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> minus close. a three. Fail. So what's the fail condition? Minus one to food and destroy one raptor. Oh, but man. one of the raptors man. is out of the game. Oh. Out of the game? Yeah. Brutal. It's not damaged, it's destroyed. Ugh. This icon means base stars launch raiders. So three more raiders appear next to this base star. Oh, oh my god. That was a... <laughs> Bad fail, bad. There's no <laughs> jump icon. This goes into the discard pile. Yeah. That's the end of Chris's turn. For my action, I don't have a location, so I can't do that. Well, it says you can't take actions either. So. Oh, really? We're just going right to your crisis, I guess. All right. So You're pretty much it. useless on it. Thanks for nothing, Admiral. So I'll just flip it over <laughs> yeah. and boom. Network computers. Oh, God. Uh, pass. Increase the jump preparation track by one. Oh, that's good. Fail, minus one population, and place one centurion marker at the start of the boarding <laughs> party oh. track. Or, minus one population, and decrease the jump preparation track by one. Oh, now, hold on. Who chooses? Current player chooses. Okay, so it's oh. your choice whether we do the skill check or not. You can oh. choose we do the skill check or the oh. second half of the card. Oh! oh. Ooh. Ooh, we need uh, to jump back here. Let's go for it. We're going to try it? Sure. Okay, so two destiny cards go in. And Mark's <laughs> jumping the gun a little bit. You're up. eager. I am not going to play this one. Only a Cylon <laughs> would be eager. No oh, obvious Cylon. Wow. Good. Destiny deck hates so us so six, far. 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 14, 15. Wow. Minus 3 is 12. Yes. Oh! Victory! Yeah. 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 Got it. Pass. We can power up by 1. Increase jump preparation track by 1. Now... Raiders are activated. Ooh. So all six of these fellas head there. Oh, God. mofo. And <laughs> move up the jump track <laughs> again. Yeah. Nice. So that's twice on one turn. All right. Which is three flavors of awesome. I don't need trust you, Silent. <laughs> Who do I, I trust? Pressure. Who do I trust? <laughs> I, Jason seems like an obvious choice since he played the game before. But that's lame. Uh, well, clearly the card is showing Starbuck. Star right yeah. Here. Okay, flip, flip a crisis. Crisis it up. After you draw a crisis card, draw one skill card of your choice. It may be from outside your skill set. I'll take a purple one. Usually you look at the crisis before you decide, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <Purple> one. <laughs> they all keep coming purple. Admiral chooses. Here you are, Admiral. 
Oh, yay. Minus one morale, and the current player is sent to sick bay. I don't like you. that option. Or minus one fuel and destroy one raptor? Raptors are expendable. Oh, it's fuel, though? Mm. Like any... I would be more worried about fuel than morale. Uh, yeah. The president has quorum cards that can increase morale. Unless he's a sick Sorry, Sorry uh, guys. Whatever. <laughs> Cylon. Where does this go? <laughs> Wait, no, uh, we're not done. All oh, right. Yeah, activate uh, raptor. The base star shoots... So your turn, right? Yeah. So you roll for the base star. Okay. Oh, oh, <clears throat> Where's your app? Uh -oh. Seven. That oh, seven. probably seven bad. Is a hit. Yeah, you pick one of those, and that's the armory. Oh. So our armory is damaged. What and is? what does that mean? Does that mean we can't use it anymore? You can't use the armory yeah. while it's damaged. So if we have any centurions on board, that comes a bad problem. Yeah, that would resolve that. Ah, no I, there are no blue good. cards that say repair. I see. And so that's a repair action. And then we FDL again. Okay, and you're also a repair as well. I am a little uh, engineer. Only if you have the repair card. The job. thing is that he can do it for free and then take another action. Oh, oh I get back so, okay. so then this gets discarded. I powered up the drive one more. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Here, folks. Good, because nice, nice. uh, I've got six raiders coming after me. <laughs> not really liking it. <laughs> Join me in sick bay. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what happens if he gets destroyed? He goes uh, to sick bay. The ship gets I into resurrect. damage and he goes into ship and sick bay. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. There, I mean, there's no way in this five. game. I jettison and, and get rescued. Players yeah, can't there's, die? There's no way in this game for players to die. There is an expansion pack where uh, one of the additional areas that gets added is the airlock. Ah. And it's a, a very high skill get, check, but the person is ejected from the game entirely. Cool. And they get to go home. Completely. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're done. You get you're, to you're, out. Out. you're out. You're booted. <laughs> wow, that Make me sucks. a sandwich, yeah. bitch. Wow. So how many what? expansions are which there now? So There's two expansions. Damn. There's the uh, Pegasus expansion, yeah. which adds another board, uh, new characters. You can play with seven people. And then there's the uh, Exodus expansion, which adds uh, new Caprica, it adds new Caprica yeah. and it adds a whole bunch of conflicted loyalty cards. No, I cards can move cool. though, right? Kind of make things complicated. Cool. As an action. There's not a lot to do, unless you want to... You can see. Yeah, I, I really can't do much right now. You huh? can shoot the big weapons at the death, big stars. The death so star. <laughs> <laughs> God, death star. Wrong, wrong side. Death Target star. the exhaust port! <laughs> okay, so we have officially reached the halfway point in the game. Uh, I have revealed myself to be a Cylon. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah, who would have thought? Uh, the humans are pretty low on resources. <laughs> All of their vipers are damaged right now. Um, I don't know. I, th I still think they could make it. Chief but, slacked uh, off in the bridge. Hey, I'm it not... took you guys three turns to get me out of jail. And Come it has. On. it's been about... Two hours? Since yeah. this, it's uh, moving a little slow, but yeah, we are when there's three rookies playing, I mean, yeah, that's that's, that's okay. kind of what's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to speed up, up in the second half, too. Uh, oh, so we're going to find we're out. We're about to determine who's the next Cylon, right? And then we'll probably recap near close to the end of the game to let you know how it all turned out. Uh, game just wrapped up. Cylons are victorious. Woo! Jason turned out to be the other Cylon. Um, from the beginning. From the beginning. From the beginning. Such yeah. a jerk. Convinced, uh, on his turn, convinced him to throw him in the brig. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. What can I say? I uh, made a poor choice. So, real quick, Chris, what did you think of this game? Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm re-watching the shows right now, and this just, it, especially when we had the music in the background, I was just like, oh, this is awesome! Rob, what'd you uh, think? I liked it. I, I'm a fan of deception games. Uh, I found it similar to another card game I like called Saboteur. So I like those kind yeah. of role right. games yeah. where you're not sure who is what and That's you great. get to accuse people of being different roles. Rob? I thought it was great. It's, it bor it, well, I should, Boros is not what I should say, but it has so many elements to it of strategy, like you said, deception. Uh, taking from the entire theme and just everything from Battlestar Galactica was awesome. It plays the all the decision making and everything that uh, makes the show so intense is what makes this game awesome. And playing it was a lot of fun. Sweet. Uh, I played it before, loved it, still love it. Um, what's even great is the fact that this game will never be the same. Yeah, no, it's never the same. Characters yeah. are different. Totally. The silent is different. And the, the other thing that I that I really like about it is that. For, for the guys, it's got the sci-fi geekiness, and uh, the the girls really get into the, like, oh, the yeah. accusations and back and forth. Oh, I know my girlfriend would love this. Yeah. <laughs> she would be all over Yeah, this. there's something in it for everybody. Yeah. No, definitely thumbs up. So it's a little bit longer of a game. 
But yeah. we all agree this is something you should add to your collection. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Good enough. How much does this cost? Um, Usually. Like 40 bucks? 50, 60 50 range. Bucks. 50, 60 yeah. range. Yeah. 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 And there are two expansions available for roughly the same. Definitely worth it, I would say. Okay, so we're not going to do any tech news. We just have the game played this week. Um, stay tuned. Join us next week. We'll do something else more exciting. Or less exciting, because this was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, share it, tell your friends, let them know, and uh, go out and buy this game. See you next week. <laughs>